Well, in this letter to the Defence Minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, the Navy Chief, who is the senior most among the three uh, service chiefs presently, has requested the government to withdraw its order limiting the education reimbursement to the children of soldiers killed in action. Uh, that was brought down to 10,000 rupees per month. It was capped at that amount. But according to Admiral Sunil Lanba, who is the chairman of the Chiefs of Staff Committee, and I quote, this small gesture of reversing that decision would assure the families of our brave women and men that the nation cares for them and that their sacrifices are truly appreciated by the government. The Admiral has also said uh, in this letter, these personnel have made the supreme sacrifice for the country and the provision of educational concessions to their wards is a small gesture to recognize their commitment to the defense of the country. Now, sources in the Defence Ministry, who we've spoken to, have told NDTV, and I quote, the Defence Ministry is seized of the matter, though it's unclear if and when the government will reverse its order. That order came as part of the 7th Pay Commission. Now, the children of martyrs, those who are missing or disabled, were previously given a full reimbursement of tuition fees, hostel charges, the cost of books, and the cost of uniform and clothing. That has now been capped, but the government says, in fact, in the same letter, the Chief of Naval Staff in his capacity as Chairman Chiefs of Staff Committee uh, says, in the case of the Army, the cost was approximately 15 crores in the last three years. Now, this also uh, affects those in the Navy and those in the Air Force, but it's the Army primarily which is impacted by the decision those who are children of martyrs, in many cases, some of whom are already in college, already in university, and don't know how they're going to pay for their university costs.